All parties in the matter, Vogel versus Williams Morris. Step forward. Deborah Vogel is suing her former tenant, Clara Williams Morris, for two months of unpaid rent and for damages to her property. Ms. Vogel, the defendant was your tenant in yes, the home that, that you own? It is your claim that she both owes you two months rent after you moved to evict her for code violations. Yes, that's correct. And that she also left the property in shambles, including leaving a car with no tires parked on the back lawn. That is right. When did you move in, Ms. Morris? November 2014. Who did you move in with? Me and four children. How old are they? Um, 19, 17, 16, and 13. And who is this gentleman? My husband. Did you move in with him too? A couple of months later, yeah. He didn't move in with you? Not initially, no. When were you married? Mm, Ten years ago. Where was he that he didn't move in with you when you moved into the house? He was working out of town. Did you let the plaintiff know that your husband would be joining you? Well, originally, when I contacted her regarding the property, yes. Originally? Yes. Is that correct? That is not correct. Okay. According to your complaint, Ms. Vogel, there came a time when you received some complaints that there was all kinds of stuff around the house. Did you take photographs of what you were talking about on the outside of the house? What happened was I drove by beginning of October when I first started receiving complaints and the neighbors were very furious and they were fu very just, furious. Just, you got a call. You drove by the apartment. Okay. I drove by the, by the house. The property. And there was cars parked all over the place and there was trash all over the place. When you say there were cars all over the place, were they on the lawn? Were they on the street? They were on the lawn. They were on the street. They were... Did you take photographs? I have photographs from the uh, city of Sacramento. I'd like to see them. Ms. Morris, I'm directing your attention to the photographs mm -hmm. that were taken in December of 2016. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at these photographs, please, because okay. I'm going to ask you some questions about them. Could you explain to me why the property looks like that? Okay, because there is dogs that get into the gate and they tap the trash and go through the trash, the neighbor's dogs. And this would happen all the time. So you can't put trash out because... What are all the cars doing there that are in pieces and the trailer in the backyard? Um, as far as the cars, my husband buy and fix cars. He sell cars. He buy them and fix them. Is this a commercial property? No, it's not a commercial property. Okay, so there's no legitimate reason why the property looks like that? Other than, I mean... Other you... than the fact that but the dogs. you don't maintain the property. Well, I mean, I maintain the property, but you have dogs that are going okay. through the trash. Fine. All right. They so they moved to evict you. Mm -hmm. When you got the notice of eviction, you stopped paying rent. That was in January. You, your four children, and your husband lived there in January. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. You owe her January's rent. You also didn't move out on February 1st, and according to your answer, you stayed there through February 17th. Is that mm -hmm. correct? That is correct. Then you owe her for February's rent, unless you can show me proof that you paid either January or February. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. How much was your rent? $1,275. Did you give her a security deposit when you moved in? Yes. How much? $1,500. That's How much? That was $1,500. That's correct. Which you kept? That's correct. Now, what you're telling me in, here in your papers is that there were damages to the property exceeding the $1,500. That's correct. I'd like to take a look. Because I looked at outside. Outside, her excuse is dogs got into the garbage. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Photographs. Um, Photographs. Um, what happened was when I took over the property, there was a lot of stuff that was damaged. There were holes in the walls. There were windows broken, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Toilet wasn't working, so I brought a witness. I don't want a witness. Okay. I want to see photographs of the premises. I don't have. I don't have. Good. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. We're done. Thank you very much. Are you excuse me? Step out. What about the deposit, Your Honor? The fifteen hundred dollar deposit. She kept that because, from what I see, there's at least fifteen hundred dollars okay. worth of damage. No problem. Thank you.